Hey everybody, Danny Ward here. Thanks for joining us. As you can see, I've got my dad here for his annual checkup. Now, dad's been complaining that he's been hitting driver left and right, but he's also been complaining that he's lost a lot of distance over the past 12 months. You've actually said it's probably because of? Age. Age. I'm in my 70s now. Sorry? I'm in my 70s now. There you are, yeah. You may be approaching <laughs> a big number soon, actually. So, I don't believe it is though. Now, what we're gonna show you here is exactly how he not only increased his distance, I'm gonna show you, you're gonna to get to see how much in a second, pretty amazing, um, but also how he changed his big slice into a beautifully straight shot in a real simple way that I know you're gonna help. So come and join us now, have some fun, and I really appreciate my dad coming to join us, enjoy. <laughs> this is your club path and this is your face to path, right? So just stand there for a second, I'll yeah. show you what you're doing. So what's happening, okay, why you've got the inconsistencies is the golf swing in its simple terms is a circle. We're swinging the club around the circle, around our bodies, up here, back yeah. around, and then around here, mm -hmm. right? Now what's happening with yourself, your circle, okay, is left of the ball. So when you swing, your circle's over here, right? Now, if that circle, okay, if your circle's left, and your club face is also now pointing left, you'll hit that what you just I'm hit. I'm coming across the ball. Yeah, so, so your circle... Sometimes I'll slice and sometimes I'll hook. You will, and what will cause a slice is your circle won't change, but yeah. your club face might. So your circle's always left of the ball, which is why it's costing you power. Right. If the club face is straight, the ball goes straight on that circle, which is what you've done here. Yeah. If your club face arrives open on that circle, it'll start left and slice to the right. Mm, which it does do. So what we've got to do is basically help you to shift your circle from here mm. to here. Right. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. So what we want to do is all you've got to see is, is the golf swing, right? And where that ball sets off, it, when it's, all, it's a circle, mm. and all we're doing is, is somewhere in that circle we strike the ball. Now when you hit an iron shot, okay, yeah. we, you know, we hit the ball before we get to the center of the circle. So this is the center here. Yeah. That we burke it back. The club at this stage is heading where? To the right. To the right, yes. It starts to hit the center of the circle here. That's yeah. your dead straight shot. Then it works back around this way. Yeah. Right? So now when you to get the ball turf, whereas the driver's a different thing, you've got to catch it slightly on the up. You've got to catch it slightly on the up. So where the way we do this is we have to therefore, bro, your driver for a second, yeah. we, we tee the ball up obviously and we move the ball mm. further forward in the stance. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing here is for us to shift your circle more over to that, to that side, mm -hmm. it, what you've got to recognise is it's harder to do that with a driver because the ball's forward in our stance. If you look at this here, look, when we're coming round in the circle, if we had it where a, a nine position would be, it's easy yeah. to get the ball over there. Yeah. But where the ball is positioned with driver, the club starts to come around and you're more likely to do what? Hit right. the ball late and send it with a slice. Okay. Now what you're doing, the reason why, one of the reasons why your circle is over here, we're going to start with setup. Your ball position is basically, it was out, almost on your little toe. So we're going to move the ball position slightly back in our stance, just, just inside our left heel here. Right. Now why would that help? Well, if your ball position is too far forward, where are we going to hit this ball in the arc? What circle well, are we going to create? It's already going left under before, you've, uh, before it's got... Yeah. If I, well, your left shoulder's gone past the ball, is that? Is yeah, that left shoulder's gone past the ball. Gone left. So you're going to hit left. So by mm. moving the ball back in our stance slightly, we're now increasing the likelihood that we're going to hit A, create a circle that hits it straighter. Right. You follow? Yeah. So that's why ball position is important. The second thing is when you're setting up, you're setting up with your hips, everything back oh, here. Um, really? Yep. Yeah. And, and think about, is that going to help you get a circle? Swinging over there or over here? No, well, no. So we well, want to basically... Is if you're, you've got to finish on your left side. Yeah, so we want from here, we're going to move the hips, everything here and the shoulders mm. to help you create a circle that is much more this way through impact versus look this way. Ball position forward, everything here is creating a circle that goes left. If we move our hips, Shoulders, yeah. now we're going to create a circle that's much more likely to come this way into the back of the golf ball and start to hit it much straighter. Got it? Yeah. Get yourself set. So from here, I'm going to put that down here for a second and I want this here to be, it's what you can do on the drive so range. My, my, uh... Inside your heel, a little bit more. 
There, that's it. There. Okay, now pause there. Then what I want you to do, this is the other problem I see, your handle is way too far back. So watch this, relax. Yeah. I'm gonna move it opposite your inside left thigh. The more the handle goes back, where is it pointing now? Yeah, it's right over to the And where's your circle gonna be now? Yeah, it's gonna be coming across this way, isn't it? Exactly, right, so watch so this. It's moving like that as well. Yeah, so if you move the handle more inside left thigh, now you're helping it to create a circle that's gonna be swinging more this way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly, right, so now hold it. Well, I, certainly, I seem to be standing really close to the... Well, you can, start, you, you can get your uh, normal comfortable distance away from the ball, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, cool. Uh, now, from here, from here, I want you to get your shoulders, ah, see this, and your hips, feeling that they're more over here, because what do you think is going to happen? Where are you going to, how are you going to create a circle now? Your mm -hmm. circle now is going to be more this way. way. Yeah. If we're here, and the hip, yeah, see what you bummed, bummed it there, Where you, where's your circle going to go? It's going to come across this way. Exactly. Right? So simple as that, just for now, we're just going to change a simple change in setup, shoulders, hips, just so we can create a circle that hits it more this way. Yeah? All right? Better, not perfect, okay? But look at this number here. See the path now, minus base, it means zero is perfect, yeah? First to path, almost zero, zero is perfect. Compare that to the minus, whatever it was, 6.7 or seven or something like that, the yeah, last one. Makes sense? Yeah. So that means now you've shifted your circle. Just a small, almost, if you think a small of, movement. Like yeah, that. yeah. By shifting that across, you're mm. shifting it. Basically, if you imagine zero being dead straight, yeah. anything minus on the club path means that your circle's going left. Anything positive means your circle's going towards the right. Yeah, so all we're gonna do now is exaggerate that. Okay, nice and smooth. No big power shots, just same, just keep. Okay, good. Right, look at this now. We haven't got the fair tree, look at the path now. Yes. Makes sense. So your path no, now no, is no, now. No, no minus. So where's the circle heading now? If your club path is a positive number, what's happened to the circle now? What's come to the. Exactly, to the so we're right. moving straighter. The yeah. only thing we've got to do now is start to improve the quality of the club face so that when you when you do swing on that circle, the club face isn't open, which is what it is at the moment, going no, to go right. It's just going to close on the up. Yeah, well, all, we're going to do that in setup though, okay? Okay, so the face is, the ball's gone to the right only because of club face. So your circle now is over to this side, but what you haven't done, your uh, face is, um, your face, yeah, your face. It needs to be closed. Yeah. It needs to be closed. Much uh, more closed. Right. So, yeah, so just so get yourself set. Okay. We're going to do this at setup, not through the swing for a time. So get yourself set here. Right. Okay. So what you've been doing when you're setting up, you're setting up with a face that's aiming over there. Yeah. So what we're going to do, get, get your body in place, hands there. Then here, watch, watch this, watch this. Grip, don't grip the club yet. Yeah. We're going to turn that face down a fraction. Right. Okay. There. That's it. Now watch. There we go. Make sense? Yeah. Look at this. Zero path. Face is now closed down. This is now your dead straight shot. Get yourself set. Shifting that circle over. Think about what you need to do with the body. That's it to shift it. Yeah. Don't lean back when you do it. If you, yeah. Just keep stay where you are. That's it. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Just relax. Turn the face in a fraction. There you go. Look at the height on that one. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So all we do is keep that pattern going. We want it. Want it on this one, Dad. We want to really, really exaggerate. We're going to try and get you playing a beautiful, beautiful draw. Yeah, that goes from right to left. Okay, with this club, and that's going to give us those extra. If we can get you up to, I can get to, see if we can get to 200 yards. That's a nice little challenge for you. That's it. Almost. Makes sense? It does. Yeah. Now we're getting the movement. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's a lovely oh. draw. Makes sense? Wow. We're getting there. Good. Progress. So this slice now, see how it's disappearing? 
All you do is, the more familiar you get with this, the more confidence you build in this yeah. setup and what you're doing, the harder you can start to hit it, and then it starts to get, you know, we'll get you over that 200 yard mark. Look at, look at that. Look at the shape now. Yeah? Are you enjoying that? I am. I right? definitely am, yeah. Well done. Really, really well done. So, all this, we did. This, this track just, just seems a little uh, as though I'm hitting it fat. Yeah, you, you haven't quite. Quick. You haven't quite nailed strike yet. Yeah. But what we're doing is, is we if you look well, at those the those numbers are great, though, aren't they? So consistent. Mm. You know, you know, you're, the one after the other now. They're going where you want them to go. All yes. we need now is more speed right. with the same pattern. Yeah. And you'll see that pot going over 200 yards. Yeah. Mm. So let's have what we'll do on this next one. All right now. I think when someone is at this stage and, the, and the, things are going well and you're getting this beautiful now drive, you're hitting all the fairways, right? You hang around that. You spend some time learning this pattern right. before you add speed, mm. yeah? Um, if you rush into speed, all that happens is you go back to your old swing very, very quickly. Mm. So we learn this pattern, then we add speed. But because right. we're in a lesson, I'll just show you how you get it. So the first thing I want you to do is this. Get into the setup we've just done. Yeah. And what I want you to do now is this, okay? I want you to get a sensation here I've hold this club, let it feel like it's a real lead weight behind you. Really get a sense of how your muscles are going to let this club just fly down with some speed, right? Not too hard, don't let smash it, but just feel like you've got momentum in the head. Feel like momentum. Now clearly, do we swing? We, do, we don't chop like that in a swing, do we? No. So what you do now is to, to really get this ball flying, you've got this visualization of a circle. Most of the time, what people are doing is, is they're carefully working on this circle where the head and the grip are working too much and doing the, basically they're doing too much of the same thing. Right. I want you to catapult this head just like you did do a minute ago, which was catapult it here, right. but you're gonna catapult it in, uh, imagine in the circle. Does it make sense? Yes, it so does, you've yeah. got yourself set here and then we simply just, we don't be careful, we just, catapult it, imagine in the circle, like this, almost like a hammer thrower. Right. <laughs> Makes sense? Yeah. So have some fun with it. We're gonna be, it'll feel reckless to start with, yeah? But let's see if we can get this speed up a little bit, okay? We know we're now we're hitting all the fairways. We're now just gonna push the boundaries a little bit, yeah? So get yourself, very important to be set up first though. So pause there, get your hips, your shoulders. Because remember, we, we're catapulting inside that circle, yeah? So visualize the circle and catapult inside it. How fast, can you go faster than that? Mind you've got, pause, pause, set up first, set up first, that's it, set up. Now you've, now you've set the circle, now catapult. Right, you goody? Right, so whatever you think there, how, in percentage terms, how fast was that based on 100% being the fastest you could do it and zero being, it was fast at all. I'd say, I'd, I'd say I'm not quite, uh, right, around about 60%. There. Right, okay, cool. So if it's only at 60%, it, yeah, yeah. this is why you're only hitting it here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if that's only 60%, you need to push it further, right? Let's try. What percentage, roughly? That sounded a bit, I don't know, 76. Oh, look what's that just happened to your distance. Yeah, 184. Now 184 now, yeah, right? Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. So what we've done is, is at the end of the day, if you can start to get a sense of this catapult inside this circle, your yeah. clubhead speed, what's your clubhead speed just done? 76.7. Yeah, yeah. Every one mile an hour clubhead speed is equivalent to three yards of distance. Yeah. Right. So of course you need to, you need to first of all, put the pattern in which what you've just done mm. before you do anything else. No point, it's, you know, having a slice, uh, slice circle and hit it into the trees another 50 yards. Yeah. Get the circle right. Once you've got an idea, then we feel this kind of catapult motion inside that circle. Yeah. What percentage? That might be higher. That might be an 80. <laughs> now look. Wow. Yeah, that felt a lot solider hit there, Daniel. Yeah, more solid, 76 uh, mile an hour clubhead speed. So you, can you see what happens? Yeah. And so every mile an hour you increase, your average mile an hour clubhead speed, based on that machine there, looking at 69.7, yeah. right? That's yeah. 76 um, well, what, uh, there. What, what does that yeah, minus five? So what you've done here, you're, as you start to hit harder, mm. you're moving back into your old pattern right. of I'm the not... circle going left, 
right? Yeah. Which is exactly why every golfer should first of all develop the pattern mm. before building in speed. If you rush it yeah. very quickly, you will go back I'll to your back old style. Your, right. So groove in the pattern over a period of days, weeks, yes. and then be patient and then understand this is where speed comes from. Yeah. Catapult motion, yeah. not the club and I the- felt, I found that was a, a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Through the ball. Definitely. Mm. Come on, we're at 192. Can we get to 200 yards? I'll try that. Yeah, <laughs> come on, you can do it. Oh, that sounded good, Dad. That sounded good. Oh, that's a good effort. 190, come on. Come on, there's 10 more yards in there. That did sound good. 192, come on. Eight yards, oh, seven yards, come on. Look at, but can you see the consistency now, Dan, in terms of distance? I have, yeah. So you, you know, you still. When you feel as though I'm out of control. Yeah. That sounded better. No, I've had it at 90, haven't I? Sorry? I've had it at 192. Yeah, yeah, I've had 192, but you're hovering around now consistently. Mm around the 190 area, yeah? yeah? Which at this stage, for you at the moment, where we're working on the pattern you, and you've made some big oh, changes. Brilliant. Yeah, then there's no, it's brilliant. I mean, all those shots more or less are gonna be on the fairway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Look at that again, look, 191, 192. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's have a rest, I don't wanna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> right, you've done awesomely well. Yeah. Uh, we better say goodbye to everyone, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks so much for my dad uh, joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we managed to kind of fix that horrible slice and, and, and shift that circle. So it's Keep that, and that's something to work on, is that exactly? Yeah, exactly. We're in yeah. fair. You're now in fair, which is awesome. And long oh, is yeah. straight is long, as they say. Yeah. Obviously, when you're adding speed to your game, what you do is you have to be patient. Speed is something that you, you build the pattern in first, get comfortable with a new pattern, then just do some speed training. Mm. You see, Dad, you probably see on camera, it's still quite slow, he's, he's cautious, understandable. You've mm. got to practice speed. When you do that, that distance comfortable will get over 200 yards. So, I hope you enjoyed this training. Thank you for coming to join us, Dad, I really appreciate it. And, um, what I want you to do is, is check out a video right here, which will complement this one fantastic work, particularly if you're struggling with, with a uh, basic hitting driver straight, all right? And of course, you need to channel, come and join the community by pressing right here, and make sure you share it with your friends if you feel they could help with some driving, all right? Till next week, have a great golfing week.